In this video, we're going to talk about step reduction milling, or SRM for short. If you look at the part on the screen, this is what happens after a typical Z roughing operation. Here we had Z steps of 0.2 all the way down to the bottom of the part. This is what you'll face when you have to run a finishing pass on it. The idea of step reduction milling is to reduce the height of these steps before the finishing pass occurs. Before we create the step reduction milling tool path, I want to call your attention to the blue rectangle that's sitting above the part. We're going to use this to define the area to be roughed when we machine with step reduction milling. If we look at this from a top view, you can see that the perimeter matches the perimeter of the surfaces. If we look at this in a right side view, you can see that the rectangle is slightly above the highest portion of the part. I'm going to go back to an isometric view and I'm going to have us measure a distance here which will become important later. If I click on Analyze and Distance and Endpoint, I'm going to then click on the corner of the surfaces and the corner of the rectangle. Here you can see we have a linear distance of about 2 inches. This matches up with a high point of 3.5 in Z and a low point of 1.5. This is the Z depth that I want to machine. I'm going to remember this number and click OK. To create the step reduction tool path, I'm going to begin by moving up to NC, down to 3 axis, and over to SRM. The first question SurfCam asks us is to select the surfaces to rough. I'm going to click on Visible, and now our SurfCam material information appears. Previously, we had used Extents Box on the Z roughing operation, but now I'm going to switch it to Top Profile. Our material height, that is the distance from the profile that we're using to define the area to be roughed, to the bottommost surface that we want to rough is 2 inches. So I'm going to leave that here and click OK. Next, SurfCam asked us to select the beginning element. This is the Top Profile geometry. I'm going to chain this by clicking on it twice. Now our step reduction milling information appears. Our stock to leave is 30 thousandths as it was before in Z roughing, so I'm going to then go to tool information. I'm going to click on select tool and we can see that there are three different types of tools you can use for step reduction milling. Here we have a shell mill, a flat end mill, and a bullnose end mill. I'm going to select the half inch bullnose end mill with a point 032 radius in the corner. One parameter that's going to be important here is the maximum depth. Here we have it set to a quarter of an inch. I'm going to set it up to be 0 0.20, which is what we used in the previous roughing operation, so you can see the difference of step reduction milling. I'm going to click OK here. SurfCam is then going to ask us, would we like to save the changes that we just made for maximum depth? I'm going to save these changes by clicking on Yes. The next step is to give it a tool number and a length offset number. This is typical of any SurfCam tool information screen. Next we'll move to Cut Control. Right away you'll see a difference between the Z roughing operation we used previously and the step reduction milling operation we're using now. Here you see two fields, a rough field and a step reduction field. Step reduction is a two-part process. The first operation is a roughing operation very similar to Z-Rough. We have a maximum step height and a maximum side step which will be applied to the part. At the conclusion of the roughing pass, we have a step reduction pass which will reduce the height of the steps from 0.2 down to 30 thousandths. Right below that you see an actual step height of 0.0286. What SurfCam does to calculate step height is measure the distance from the highest to the lowest point that you want to rough, in this case 2 inches. We divide the 2 inches by 30 thousandths and come up with a number. If there's any left over, we add an extra pass and divide again. In this case, our actual step height is 0 0.0286, with our maximum side step remaining at 0 0.2. Our next value is minimum tool movement. This is the minimum distance the tool will be allowed to move when roughing. Minimum stock removal is the minimum amount of material it will be able to remove when roughing. 
You've got climb milling, flood coolant, plunge points are automatic in all cases. We also have speed and feed options as well. Different feeds and speeds are available for both roughing and for step reduction. I'm going to click OK and apply this information. Initially you'll see down at the bottom it will be creating slices for roughing. Following that you'll be creating slices for step reduction. When we're finished we accept and we go to verify. When you view the step reduction milling tool path in SurfCam verification you're going to see the two part process that we talked about earlier. An initial Z roughing style operation that takes 200,000 steps from top to bottom followed by a step reduction tool path with 30,000 steps. If I click on the play button here we'll see this clearly. There's our 200,000 Z roughing operation followed by the 30,000 steps. So as you can see, if you want to get closer to the finished size before applying your finished tool paths, step reduction milling is something to consider.